Right, so the final book that I listened to was not recommended to me by a mate, but I just got wind of it. I think he shared it on his stories, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's out there. Who better to be taught by than a fighting man, a man's man, who just went around the world filling anyone in who disrespected him or his family or challenged him. He's a Valetudo legend. He went into MMA, and he's got a great story. He's one of the Gracies, obviously, Hicks and Gracie. It show it tells of how he was... Uh, how he grew up and how he was forged and five out of five if I was just basing it on general enjoyment but for the purpose of what I bought it for there was just nothing to do with breathing in there not a single chapter I thought I oh, saving it for the grand finale it just didn't come there was no reoccurring themes like I took a deep breath and got him in a Chinese burn or anything nope so don't be duped like I was. I'd really thoroughly recommend this book if you're into MMA or martial arts or anything. But uh, yeah, if you want to look like him on the cover, there was just, this is not where he relays it. It is important for Jiu Jitsu guys to be able to breathe if they want to reach their full potential. Because if you imagine you're in a pike position or, or, a, or a plow, position where the feet your feet are on the floor behind you and you find it hard to breathe and you start panicking so it's not like lack of mobility why you want to get out that position it's the uncomfortableness of not being able to breathe that's because you need to work on your compression and learn how to breathe through your back or your side or your intercostal muscles well it's times 10 in jiu-jitsu because they've got another dude on top of them trying to fill them in so they need to master their breath remain calm handle their business again he just didn't relay any of it in this book but if you're interested he's obviously a master and a student of his craft and he alludes to it on the joe rogan experience on youtube there's a clip of him basically um likening the concentric part of the rep or the positive as the exhale so we've been wired to think and here we we hear when you need to compose yourself take a deep breath well what he's saying is the opposite you need to focus on the exhale if you've got a weak exhale and you take shallow little breaths you're never going to be able to take as much breath in uh, so he does know what he's talking about and you should check that clip out it's that's groundbreaking that one that stuck with me you really need to focus on the exhale and if you don't know what the concentric part means, it's like if you do a pull up, pulling yourself up is the positive, letting yourself down is the negative. So you could you could argue that the most important part is getting yourself above the bar. Well, he's saying the most important part of breathing is the exhale, not the inhale. So forget, take a deep breath, work on your exhale, which is covered in the next book that I'll talk about as well.